It is stated at the beginning of the movie that a battle was fought between two aliens. One of the aliens' names was Bello, and the other was Cherno. Cherno creates the Wave Eater weapon for this battle. It was a weapon that was used to release solid balls of energy. Such energy balls were powerful enough to annihilate any planet. On a day, though, Cherno's airship collided with the moon. As a result, the moon is destroyed, and Cherno and his airship crash land on Earth. And with it, Balo imprisoned Cherno on Earth. Because of this airship, several new diseases infected the Earth. The Earth's climate has also changed. But Cherno's weapon was so powerful that he could control it from anywhere on Earth. However, the Earth's population was unaware of it. Many years later, a human being with the power of teleportation appeared on Earth. Both humans and aliens now practice this sport. On the other hand, Cherno's powers were diminishing. The year 2071 is now shown in the movie. A lamp falls on the film's protagonist, Anton, here. However, he is safe from this, and it is well known that Cherno's daughter, Anya, had dumped it. After teleporting herself, Anya moves to the airship of Cherno in the subsurface, where Cherno informs her that Anton possesses such powers in his body, which will be displayed in any excitement or any powerful emotions. And Cherno required those abilities for his new creation. The scene now shifts to the sport where the Earth team members are in the last round of competition. Anton was worried about not getting the job, because his mother's condition was critical, and he didn't have any money for the medication. As a result, he moves to a pharmacy to commit stealing, where a girl assists her. However, the police arrive, and he's running as police move in. Suddenly, a vehicle appears and hits him. Anton walks on, eventually disappearing. It signifies that his teleportation abilities had been awakened. Bello was hired to bring the moon back to life. He learns that such a man has teleported about whom he knows nothing. Anton discovers the same pharmacy girl while teleporting to a new location. Who guides him to the tunnel? She pulls some of Anton's hair. As a result, she may give them to her father. Cherno begins his experiment with Anton's DNA. However, it does not function. Cherno tells Anya that she may murder Anton. On the other side, there is a view of Anton's house. Many people were waiting for him when he arrived home. They hoped that Anton would join their team. Anton does not agree right away. When they claim they will cover the cost of his mother's therapy, Anton agrees. They then transport him aboard their airship. Here, a robot for Anton is being built which is required for all players. Bello is also teaching Anton how to use it so he can gain control of his abilities. When Anton faces some trouble at the outset, one of his team's female players named Natasha assists him. Bello was quite pleased with Anton here because he had learned to control his abilities. Natasha and Bello had begun to look after Anton's mother and Natasha had begun to like Anton. As a result, she used to spend more time with his mother. Natasha and Anton's mother are conversing. Then she says that when the moon was broken up, Anton was born. Something very piercing had touched her body. It could be the source of that teleportation power. The following scene shows Anya calling Anton at the location where they meet. Anya hands him over a poisonous flower entangled in her conversation. She tells him that the airship will be poisonous when he squeezes it on the way there. Anton is initially doubtful of her, but he agrees, seeing Anya's irritation. Because Anton had feelings for Anya, he was also uninterested in Cosmoball. The players were getting ready for the game in the following scene. However, the climax occurs when Anton refuses to play this game on a timer. Hearing it, everyone becomes concerned. Bello picks over where Anton left off, and he reveals the truth about this game and Cosmoballs. He also mentions that this fact is still hidden from human players. It is regarded as a sport by all. Bello informs Anton that he has imprisoned him, 
but he is unable to prevent him from developing such things here. Because if he destroys his laboratory, Earth will also be annihilated. Knowing all of these facts, Anton realizes his error. He also decides to repair it. Then, Anton moves to the location where he threw the poison. But it was too late since the poison had spread far and wide. Bello instantly extracts everything from this airship. And the airship's emergency mechanism is activated. Anton faces those cosmoballs for the first time. When Anya calls, he goes to meet her, leaving his robot behind. Where Anya paralyzes him and forces him to sniff sarin gas. And she explains that she has known her for numerous years. And she had been pursuing her for quite some time. As a result, his abilities may be activated. Anya also tells him that she likes him. After that, Anya extracts Anton's DNA by pricking a device on his forehead. Her father required it. Cherno incorporates Anton's DNA into his experimentation, the process by which a creature is produced. The word Cherno connects this creature to his brain. The scene shifts back to Anton, who is still paralyzed in the same spot where his robot appears with Bello. There, Cherno appears unexpectedly and warns Bello that he would wreck the entire world. Then it is discovered here that Bello produced Cherno. On the other hand, it can be observed that Cherno's creature was wreaking devastation throughout the city. And everyone could see it. That thing suddenly moves into space. Bello admits his mistake in front of everyone. Cosmoball is a conflict, not a sport. It is a war to protect Earth. And he flies his airship into space with it. Natasha is no longer convinced by Bello's statements. She asks him again if it was him who created Cherno. At the same time, all airships were working to control them. That creature makes it inactive. Anton apologizes for his robot here. And he begins to guard the people without protective gear. A Cosmoball strikes Anton while deactivating the Cosmoball. However, his robot appears before something happens. And it provides him with his protective suit. With his daring, protection armor, and might, Anton had grown in power. And he was deactivating those Cosmoballs. The scene now shifts to Bello in his alien form. While teleporting, he moves to Cherno's airship with Natasha. A fight breaks out between them. Bello starts attacking Cherno. While Natasha takes on Anya. Bello was using his freezing abilities to freeze the equipment. Cherno was also preventing him from doing so. However, he also freezes Cherno with his freezing power. In contrast, Anya is seen. She disguised herself as Natasha and used her abilities to do so. And she paralyzes Bello while diverting him and forcing him to sniff sarin gas. Anya saves her father in this manner. Anton appears there before Cherno kills Bello. Anton then catches Anya as he arrives. But Cherno kills his daughter in order to capture Anton. And he clings to the wall. As a result, he cannot teleport himself. Cherno also murders Bello, who was going to back him up. Then Anya tells him while dying. This creature has been created through his DNA and he can handle it with no difficulty. And she dies after saying it. Anton quickly carries it out here. And he ties his energies to this creature, bringing them together. And that creature also learns that its true owner is Anton. As a result, his request to quit has no negative consequences. It saves Natasha. And also sends Cherno and his wave eater machine into the sun. As a result, they both come to an end. Following that, it is discovered that all released Cosmo Balls of Cherno have come to a halt on Earth. Now, the new captain of Bellows airship informs everyone that they can restore normal life on Earth using those energy balls. Anton is seen with it as well, who, using his powers and that creature, assembles the moon's fragments. Finally, it is shown that Anton and Natasha are living happily ever after. And the film ends here.